Hi, so this is just a um, brief uh, video tutorial on uh, greater tube velocity fractures, undisplaced greater tube velocity fractures and ultrasound. Um, really good use of ultrasound to get it right first time and pick up these uh, these injuries in patients often who's fallen on an outstretched a hand, uh, always have had a degree of trauma. Um, just to orientate you to what you're looking at here, uh, this is a cross-sectional view of the supraspinatus tendon. Uh, this is the tendon structure itself here. Uh, and underneath it, you've got the bony outline of the humeral head. This is the top white bone of the cortex of the humeral head of the greater tuberosity, and on top of it, this hypoechoic or dark area is the articular cartilage, then the tendon as we've mentioned, and on top of that you've got the subacromial subdeltoid bursa, which you'll actually see more clearly in a moment when I play the video. And then on top of that you've got a cross-sectional view of muscle. This is the deltoid muscle, subcutaneous fat layer next, and then the dermal layer. Okay, I'm going to play the video and you'll see but the smooth outline of the cortex of the humeral head changes, becomes very ragged and irregular, and you've got these classic step deformities uh, where there's an undisplaced fracture of the, of the greatest tuberosity. Uh, you can see it classically here, there's a step. Uh, if we do it once more, you'll see on this side, uh, there's another little step here between the, the, uh, the bony sort of cortex and outline. So really good use of ultrasound to pick up these fractures. Uh, can change the patient's progno prognosis, obviously, because it's a bony injury, it's not a soft tissue injury. It may also change how aggressive you want to be with rehabilitating it and, and loading this area uh, in terms of its tenderness attachments as well.